let's play what we've got so far. Okay, so right, let's come back here, and I want to add a bit more bend here. Um, But what I want to do is bring this back and I think I may tilt the body just a fraction more let's see if we can swap this out And yeah, I still want to feel like bringing this back. Just so we've got that drive behind the kick. And maybe at this point, bring this up to here. Okay. I need to bring this in one. I don't want that break between the frames. I think I want all of these to be right next to each other rather than any spaces between them. That's better. So there's uh, no gaps there. And then here, we're literally going to flick out the kick. So again, I think we'll just tip this onto the toes. Bring the top bit back very slightly. And the kick's delivered with the heel of the foot. And there'd be some motion there too. I'm now looking at bringing Chinry back down into the basic stance now is get ready pose so what I'm going to do uh, we're at the height of the kick so I want to change this expression so let's choose a different one maybe that one that's uh, quite good and as we're bringing him down into the uh, basic position the stance that we had what I'm going to do is find the basic stance we had from the start which was this and just selecting it I'm going to copy C go about three or four frames after the kick and control V and what we should have is I'm just going to swap this hand back on this one here that's it, it comes to ease here so rather than having to think too hard about positioning him on the way down we can just copy and paste that pose and we've kind of kept the same position here uh, the pivot point on the ankle so let's extend that with an F5 
and I guess what we could do here is F6 And here I'm just going to put in a blink. And sort this back out. And finish it off with that. So let's have a quick... look through everything from the beginning and see what we have so there we go there's um, a basic uh, punch block and kick so hopefully he's passed his first grading with this um, let's watch it one more time So it's just some basic moves, as I say, using the Animate tool and the Transform tool, just trying to get the most out of those tools um, without going too far ahead, um, trying to just swap out some symbols, get some nice actions there. And you'll notice that in this exercise, I didn't work with any uh, key poses whatsoever, although what I did do um, prior to this was um, I did look at some clips um, prior. So I do kind of... Uh, understand the motions in the kicks and the punches I, I did quick sketch them but I just wanted to show you that you can come in as long as you've got the things in mind you can also just come in um, and on the fly just work poses in so uh, it's, it's good practice so but definitely work with your key poses sketching them in bringing them in and then practicing uh, a few different ways just just keep animating come up with as many different things as you can and uh, you you just find that you'll have such a big library of different actions so um, practice with, with this one the file again is included in with the package so you can go through this file uh, you can pick apart all these motions add to it um, you could even if you wanted go in um, swap all the pieces around so you could you know change them to the zombie there and have him performing all the moves and so on um, and you know have fun with it so I hope this has been um, a useful lesson to you and uh, as ever keep practicing